Yes, we praise you this morning, Lord. We praise you, Lord God. We remember you. We put your name on our lips, Jesus. We're right where you are this morning. Why don't we just begin to lift praise? We praise you, God. Sing that chorus one more time. And just, let's let praise rise from our hearts. Oh, praise the Yeah. 
start generation in your family and your children and their children and their children may as be upon for a thousand generations in your family and their children and their children and their children may as be upon and a thousand generations and your family and your children and your children and your children may his favor be upon you and a thousand generations and your family and your children and your children
let's just begin to lift our voices. It's like I feel his heart for Brazil at the moment, and I know that there's such a death toll there. But things can change in an instant when we realize that praise is bigger than this room. It's bigger than your lounge room. And we can begin to praise, and it breaks down the enemy's plans. Because where his kingdom is, nothing else can stand. So we come on, let's just begin to lift our voices. Let's cry out for Brazil. Let's say he's for you, Brazil. He is for you. 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 just putting a nation on your heart. Why don't we lift up the nations of the world at this time and just declare health and freedom from this pandemic. Everything changes. Just like Paul and Silas in the middle of the night crying out. God made a way. He broke down the chains. So right now with the chains of oppression across the nations of the world, we declare that a time has come for freedom. Freedom from this pandemic, Lord. Freedom. We just release the sound of hope and healing over Brazil, over the nations. Over every nation and tribe and tongue. We bless them in Jesus' name. Come on, let the musos just begin to sing out and play out on your instruments. If you're at home, just begin to lift your voice. Stand in the gap.
Jesus. Jesus. I don't know about you guys at home, but there's something tangible taking place right now. There's, there's a resonance of, of activity in the Spirit that's just going out. It's like that verse in Ezekiel when it talked about the river. I want you to know right now there's, there's a river that's going out. Not just from a home, not just from a, a church, but from your heart right now that's affecting nations. There's something tangible and there's something visible that God wants to do. I want to read this over us. And uh, I'm going to ask the worship team to go back into that bridge because there's something that God wants to shift this morning. He wants to establish something, not just in your heart and your home, but He wants to do business in the nations. It's incredible when we begin to align with His heart, we're able to impact and we're able to influence the spirit realm that breaks things open in the natural. I'm believing right now for, for things to break open in your home, in your heart. Whatever you need breakthrough in right now, we just decree and we declare that God is doing something powerful in your midst. Amen? The Bible says in, in 2 Corinthians 2, 14 in the Passion Translation, it says, God always makes His grace visible in Christ, who includes us as partners of His endless triumph. Through our yielded lives, He spreads the fragrance of the knowledge of God wherever we go. We have become the unmistakable aroma of victory of the Anointed One of God. We have become the unmistakable aroma. I want to decree and declare right now, even in your home, let this be a sign and a wonder that you would start smelling the fragrance of victory. I want to declare, let us know if there is an activation right now, if there is a, a sudden aroma that you're smelling, because God wants to activate in the Spirit right now things that are happening in the natural. And I want to decree and declare as we, we come into this place of convergence in the Spirit, that God is doing something for you tangibly at home. That your heart and your home, whatever you need in this season right now, God wants to meet you in that place. That we're not looking for fragrances of defeat, but we're looking for fragrances of victory that God is, is bringing about in Jesus' name. Father, right now, Lord, I thank you that you are shifting things in the Spirit. Lord, that we are coming into alignment with your heart. And we thank you right now that we declare this blessing. We declare this anthem, Lord, over nations right now, that, Lord, you are going before us, that, Lord, there is a procession of triumph, that there is a procession, Lord, of, of Christ in us, the hope of glory in Jesus' name. Come on, worship team. Join us at home right now. His favor goes before us. His favor be upon you for a thousand generations and your family and your children and your children their children may his favor be upon you for a thousand generations to your family and your children and their children
just declare wherever you are right now, be healed in Jesus' name. Prison doors open on your life. Your heart will open to what God wants to do in this season. Friend, I want to invite you. Surrender your life to Christ. You're watching right now. You've been sitting on the fence for too long. God wants you to give your life wholly to Him. I want to invite you right now. Surrender your life to Christ. You're not going to lose out. You're going to win. Triumph is going to be your anthem. This is not the end. This is just the beginning. You wanted to give up. You wanted to throw in the towel. Friend, give God a chance. Don't give up. Give in. God wants to move. God wants to show Himself strong on your behalf. Friend, if that's you right now and you're watching, why don't you surrender your life to Him right now? If you're in hopelessness, there's a place called hope for you. I just bless you right now. Why don't you join me? Put your hand on your heart and say, Jesus, I invite you into my life. I'm sorry for the things that I've done. But I ask you to come into my heart. Make my life anew. And all my days, I'll live for you. All my days, I'll live for you. In Jesus' name. Parents struggling to pay bills, I bless you right now. Single dads, estranged from your kids, I bless you right now to step into love. Single moms, you feel like you're alone, I bless you right now. You're not alone, you're not alone. Teenagers, contemplate in life right now. Don't give up. He's got a plan for you. He's got a plan for you. He's for you. He is for you. He is for you. He is for you. This season isn't a season for victims. It's a season for victory. We're going to come out stronger than ever because we're in this together. He is for you and we are for you right now. In Jesus' name, I bless you. Wherever you're watching from right now, I bless you to step into victory. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. And all God's people said, amen. Amen. Thank you, worship team. Thank you, everyone. Wow. Friends, we have an incredible morning lined up for you this morning. Thank you so much for joining us. And, and friend, if that was you, who surrendered your life. Why don't you let us know this morning. You can put your name in the comments or you can reach out to us via our Stairway Facebook or even our email info at stairway.org.au. But guys, so thankful that you're joining us this morning. Guys, we just are so thrilled we're able to be with you in your home. And so mom, dad, children, granddad, auntie, Whoever's watching this morning, we're just so thrilled to be with you. Amen? And so let's not delay it any longer. And let's move in to what we have for you this morning. In Jesus' name.